Welcome to the People Scored Quick Start Guide for new members that are starting a program. This guide will walk you through getting your score, creating your community, and starting to leverage your strengths. It will also show you how to set up key elements of your People Score profile and offer some suggested next steps. If you're starting from the People Score homepage, just click on the blue button in the What's Your Score area, or click the register link found in the footer navigation. Enter your current employment status, whether you're a manager or individual contributor, and then click the Continue button. For this quick start guide, we'll be using the example of an employed manager. Next, you'll be asked to enter some basic contact information. It's the same information you'd see on a standard business card. You'll also be asked to check the box confirming that you accept our terms and conditions. A temporary password will be sent to the work email address that you entered in the previous form. If it doesn't show up in your inbox, please check your junk or spam folder. You may want to also add at peoplescore.com to your trusted recipient list or your address book. Enter your temporary password into the form and hit sign in. You'll be able to change your password later in the process. Next, you'll be asked to enter some basic career information about the number of people in your organization and the time that you've been in your role. This information is used to calculate your people score. If you're not sure about your date of employment, just use an approximate date. You'll be able to change it later. Now is a good time to begin personalizing your people score profile by adding your photo. Adding your photo makes the experience much more personal for those that you invite to participate in your scoring process. To add your photo, click on the Update Photo link and use the Browse feature to select the photo you'd like to upload. Then click on the Upload Photo button and close the window. Your photo is now uploaded to your profile. If you don't want to upload your photo now, you can always do it later. Now it's time to create your community. Click the boxes next to the participant groups that you'd like to include. As a manager, you'll want to include your boss and your direct reports. It's also valuable to get feedback from your peers and other members of your team. You can also get feedback from customers and associates that can reside outside of your company or organization. Once you've got your initial set of participant groups selected, hit the Continue button. Now it's time to invite people into the particular groups. We'll start by inviting your manager. You'll need to enter their first name, last name, and the first portion of their email address. You'll notice that the subnet portion of their email address has been pre-inserted. This is one of the methods we use to ensure that valid email addresses and real people are participating in the scoring process. You can invite two bosses to participate in your scoring process. For example, your boss and your boss's boss. To add a second boss, just click on the Add Another button. When you've invited all of the people into a participant group, click on the Continue button to move on to the next step in the process. The next step will be to invite your direct reports. Use the same process you use to invite your managers. Use the Add Another button to keep adding people to the group, and then click the Continue button when you're finished. You can have up to 10 direct reports and team members, and up to 20 peers and customers and associates. The next step is to verify your community. This gives you the opportunity to verify the spelling of names, the proper email addresses, and the right distribution of people amongst your participant groups. If you need to make any changes, just click on the Edit This Group link for the appropriate participant group. And you can always edit your community later. When you're all set, hit the Continue button. Once you hit the Continue button, the members of your community will receive email invitations asking them to participate in your People Score process and submit a People Score and a personal testimonial on your behalf. Now you're ready to submit your self score. First, answer the two satisfaction questions, and then answer each of the five questions for the 10 program specific competencies. When you're finished, hit the Continue button. Now you have the opportunity to review and edit your scores. Scroll down the scores you've entered and make sure that they're the ones that you want to submit. Once you hit the Continue button, you will not be able to change your scores. Now it's time to submit your leader comments. Leader comments are your own personal editorial on how you think you're performing. You can share milestones and objectives and accomplishments to share with others how you think you're doing. 
Once you hit the submit button, you will not be able to change your leader comments. So you may want to run the spell checker and carefully review them before you do this. You may also want to print out a copy of the scores you submitted and your leader comments for reference later. Once you hit the submit button, you will have completed the self-scoring process. A pop-up window will appear that will show you your initial people score and your three foundational strengths. If you added your photo to your profile earlier, you'll notice that it does not show in this pop-up window. That's because the default privacy settings are set to the highest levels of privacy. You'll have the opportunity to change this in a moment from your profile. At the completion of the scoring process, you'll be brought to your People Scored profile. This gives you the opportunity to adjust your privacy settings and change your password. To do so, click on the Account Settings link located in the upper right corner of your profile. Scroll down to the Privacy Settings area. The first form you will see allows you to change your password. Enter your new password into the form and then scroll down and hit Submit. Your new password has been saved. While in the Privacy Settings area, you can also set privacy for the different elements of your profile. You can set unique privacy settings for each section on all of the tabs of your profile. This puts you in total control of who can access your information. For each section of your profile, you can select from five privacy options. Everyone, no one, by role, by individual, or your entire community. Setting your privacy by role allows you to select the specific participant groups that can access your information. Setting your privacy at the individual level allows you to determine which piece of information each person can see. Selecting the entire community option will make this information available to all the members of your community and no one else. Once you've entered your privacy selections, scroll down to the bottom of the page and hit the submit button. Now is a good time to start filling out your People Scored profile. A great place to start is to fill out your professional information. This is basically your online business card. Click on the update link in the upper left corner of your member info tab next to the word professional. Enter the professional information you'd like displayed on your profile. Remember, who can see it will be based on the privacy settings that you've just entered. To add your company logo to your profile, click on the Update Logo link in the upper right corner of this page. Once you've updated your logo and entered all of your professional information, be sure to hit the Save link next to the word Professional in the upper left corner of this page. Your professional information is now added to your profile. You can add information to other elements of your profile by following this same process. If you've initiated your People Scored process on your own, you can go to People Scored slash Individuals to learn how to start leveraging your strengths and improve your People Score. If you're participating in your People Scored process as part of an organizational or company initiative, please contact your manager or HR representative to understand the next steps. Going through the process we've covered in this Quick Start Guide typically takes people about 15 to 20 minutes. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please email us at tech underscore support at peoplescore.com.